Well, it is Pink Ribbon Breakfast Month, and for our next guest, it has a particular significance. Karen Horan is a two-time breast cancer survivor and now actively helps raise money and gives advice to other women recovering from their illness. Karen, welcome to the show. It is lovely to have you in here. Thank you, Mel. I think the last time I saw you, you were dressed up like a chicken. I was dressed up. I was dressed up like ah. a chicken. This is true for the Paddle for Hope, which yes, we should talk more have. about. You've in the done really well. Thank well you. done. Thank you. You even won a prize, I think. You can have a look at it now. There it is. Oh, thank you for that shot. <laughs> Who got that screenshot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's very hard to paddle when you dress like a chicken, I can say yes. that. <laughs> Good excuse. But yeah. we're here to talk about you, because you have you survived breast cancer twice. You first yes. had it at 26, yes. and then it returned when you were 40. 40. So you've got three little children, one just barely a year old, yes, three little girls. Yes, about one, yeah, when I was diagnosed again. So what goes through your head when you find this diagnosis? Wow, um, I think that the first time when you, you're diagnosed, it's, it's a shock, and because I was 26, I've kind of gone through it, and I was mm -hmm. still partying and doing my thing. When I was 14, I had the three girls, and I got the news at home. It was about 4.30 in the afternoon, and I, I, I just felt like someone's telling me that through a glass wall, mm -hmm. you know, and it just goes, you've got cancer. And it's a shock. I mean, you think you know everything about the disease. You've done everything you could, uh, nutritional-wise, exercise. I've been paddleboarding. I've been um, at the gym. You've lived Lots a good of, life. I lived a good life. I was happy, and bang, it knocks on your door. The biggest thing for me was not to ask why. The only thing I said, why now? Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a blessing in disguise sometimes, you know. And that was a few years ago, wasn't it? Yes, it was about three years ago. And it's been treated, and you had a double mastectomy? I had a double mastectomy. I'm still going through reconstruction. So about six weeks ago, I've done a fat grafting from my stomach to my breast. So, mm -hmm. Oh, um, that's a beautiful shot yeah. screen. Look at that, so, gorgeous. Yeah, there you go. Um, and I'm still, still finding, I think, breast cancer and any cancer, um, when it knocks on your door and you get the treatments and you're all good and you get it all clear or you don't, sometimes it's an ongoing um, journey, um, for everyone post cancer, there is still a lot of work to do, and and many of us don't talk about it. What goes mm. after? This is the thing. So you get through it, and you're you're fine for the yeah. time being. Or, yes. or, but you don't actually have any of the mental health as well, I guess, to exactly. well, or help for that sort of side of things to get through a bit further. Yeah, and that's where you know Pedal for Hope comes along in the Pedal On program uh, that we've designed a few years ago to help people rehabilitate after cancer and we've opened it to all cancers so that's the beauty of it as well we have aligned with pink and steel we got a lot of help from the new zealand breast cancer foundation in the first years there you go you're on screen um, you it's an awesome the event uh, the pedal for hope is a fundraising event um, it's a community we're trying to build communities around rehabilitation and getting people through after because there's so many side effects to breast cancer mm -hmm. and cancer in general and uh, you want to build a community around it so people feel good about themselves and get get a better quality of life. Because the thing with the paddle boarding, not only very, I guess it's very good for you physically, yes. but also mentally, mentally, being with groups of people who have all been through yeah. similar situations. Totally, I agree. I mean, um, we look at it holistically. Um, I'm a fitness instructor as well. I love paddle boarding, fell in love with the sport. I, I thought, you know, when I started paddle boarding, the range of movement has improved. My balance, my core strength, my stability, but as you said, my confidence yeah. of being out there with people just like me. And being and on understand, the water. And being on the water, getting the vitamin D, the sunshine. I always smile when I'm on my board, and I think you felt the same. You oh, know? it's fantastic. It's like I, you glide on the water, and your life just goes by. and you're It's all a wonderful, good. wonderful place to be. On it is. Ocean. It is amazing. And, and it's really important to get back to at least halfway to what you mm -hmm. were, and then to what you were, and even better. And a lot of people, after going through our program, which is eight weeks, consecutive weeks, that we teach with physios of pink and steel, how to pedal board, they, they feel even better than what they, they were before their cancer journey. And that's, right. that's amazing, I mean, the results. Uh, you know, with the numbers that I just got yesterday yeah. um, from the New Zealand Breast Cancer Foundation, 3,000 women will be diagnosed in New Zealand only and that's you know this year and and 
we need so much to do. We do. That's yeah. a hor that's a that's a horrible statistic, but there are yeah. ways to to keep on top of things. Yes, the mammograms and everything as well. Corinne, it's been a pleasure having you in the oh, studio. I could talk to you, you for hours. Yeah, and I know. Hours. We have talked before. And you are we? so passionate, <laughs> and I think it's wonderful. And if you want to help raise funds too, pinkribbonbreakfast.co.nz.